What's going on guys? It's Greg from East Coast Dyes and today we have another episode of Theory Thursday for you. Today we're going to discuss the different types, diamond sizes, and sizes of lacrosse mesh that we offer. So uh, now we have a lot of different types of mesh, both wax and non-wax, in many different sizes and colors and I want to say we offer probably the largest variety uh, of mesh anywhere you can find. Um, so we started out with what was the original, our East Coast Mesh product, then moved into ECM Black and now have our Hero Mesh. So as far as pricing goes, uh, you can find the East Coast Mesh products from Field Sticks anywhere from $15 to $18 and you can find Hero Mesh at $19.99 everywhere. So that's as far as it goes on price and East Coast Mesh and ECM Black are just a little bit cheaper uh, than our newest Hero Mesh. So the two different types of wax mesh we offer are the East Coast Mesh and the ECM Black which you'll find uh, in the blue packaging for East Coast Mesh and in the black packaging for ECM Black. So the differences here are that the East Coast Mesh is softer and the ECM Black is harder. This is a little bit more tacky and this is a little bit more dry feeling, has a little bit less of that waxy feeling. So when you're talking about East Coast Mesh as far as its properties, one thing that's great about wax mesh is it really holds its shape very well. Uh, the wax is going to give it a property where uh, wherever you put the pocket, it's really going to stay. It's not going to move quite as much because the wax holds the mesh and the pocket in place um, exactly where you string it. This mesh is woven with nylon, so the base that we use to coat with our formula is nylon, which is a great material. It is extremely durable and has worked very, very well for lacrosse mesh for a very long time. The East Coast Mesh comes in a variety of colors. You got white, single color fade, two color fade, striker, and fades within the striker, while the ECM Black is only available in white. The one thing about Wax Mesh is it is a little bit heavier since it does have that wax coating, and our East Coast Mesh and ECM Black are a little bit thicker than Hero Mesh. They are definitely heavier pieces of meshes. Uh, these are available in a number of diamond sizes. Here is our regular 50 millimeter diamond size, our standard size. And then one nice thing we offer is really the ability to customize your pocket. Uh, so we also have a 20 millimeter diamond size and a six diamond. So the 20 millimeter is the same diamond structure, still your 10 diamond structure and the same shape of diamonds, but they're actually a little bit longer and a little bit wider. So basically just larger diamonds. This is preferred by a lot of face off guys. Uh, what it does is essentially strings what's more of a baggy pocket. Uh, the pocket tends to float a bit, a little bit more. It's a little bit softer than the 15 millimeter, and that's why a lot of the face-off guys, like Greg Renlian and some other guys, used to use it. The six diamond is a less common option, but still used by a lot of players. And those that do use it really love it. I've used to play with six diamond when I was younger, and even into college. And one thing that six diamond has going for it is those larger diamonds. You can see, as opposed to ten diamond, where there's ten diamonds across, you only have six here. So much, much larger diamonds that can give you a tremendous amount of hold. Uh, and really just grip the ball much better than 10 diamond will. The only disadvantage to 6 diamond is it, it's a little bit trickier to string. If you've never strung it before, it's going to be a little bit harder, but it doesn't take that that long to get used to it, um, and it does have a lot of hold, which really makes up for it, any of its disadvantages. So our Hero Mesh is our newest product. It is a non-wax product. It comes in this box. This is available in six colors, uh, in white, black, gray, black striker, red striker, royal striker. And uh, one of the main differences, we re-engineered a lot of the things from our wax mesh for this mesh, including losing the wax coating. Uh, we started with a new fiber, as I mentioned. The uh, East Coast mesh was woven with nylon, which has a lot of advantages, but one of its disadvantages is nylon does tend to absorb water a little bit, which is why the wax coating really helps. With this, we developed what we call our LTH fibers, which stands for lightweight, hydrophobic, and temperature resistant. So a completely new material, uh, which is actually waterproof in and of itself, so it doesn't need the wax coating. So we have a super lightweight um, polymer coating that we customized just for this mesh, just to give it the semi-soft feel that we really like. So uh, that is one main difference from the East Coast mesh you're gonna notice, is if you didn't like the wax mesh, that you're probably gonna like the Hero mesh because it doesn't have that wax coating. Uh, it is a little bit softer than the East Coast Mesh and that means the pocket tends to move just a little bit more uh, without the wax coating. It doesn't have quite the same pocket stability so the ball will float around a little bit more which the feedback we've gotten from some players is that they really like that because they can feel the ball in the pocket much much more. Uh, that's what we call a responsiveness in this in this mesh that you can really feel wherever the ball is in the pocket. So two of the major differences here as opposed to our wax mesh is this is way lighter. This is only 26 grams and we found that it really does make a difference when you pick up the stick and feel it. You actually can feel the weight difference from our wax mesh to this, which is only 26 grams. 
frames obviously which is very very light for lacrosse mesh and finally another big thing that we really worked on for this mesh is the range of temperatures you can use it in uh, it's not affected by very very low temperatures we tested it in the snow all the way through the heat so that the softness the feel it's not going to shrink up and get hard when it gets cold and it's not going to loosen up and expand when it gets hot since we know lacrosse is played across all temperature ranges this was extremely important when we developed this mesh so those are the basic sets of meshes we offer you have your wax and your non-wax uh, obviously there's a ton of options out there on the market and stringing and mesh is all preference you know one thing that works well for somebody else may not work well for you so i suggest that you really Try as much as you can, feel it in stores, feel it in your friend sticks, and just see what works best for you, what you might like, and what fits your play style really as well as possible. So thanks for watching. I hope this helped you guys learn a bit, little bit more about our line of meshes. Make sure to leave a comment down in the description with what kind of mesh you use. We'd love to read about it. Make sure to like if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't, and have a great day.